Are you starting to write your medical school personal statement and you don't know what message, voice, or tone to hit? Stick around for key tips on how to employ both creative and critical elements. For the best medical school personal statement coaching, definitely hit subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any videos I post every Tuesday throughout the cycle. If you want a one-on-one -on -one call with me, definitely book that strategy session in the description below. Keeping the ad comms engaged and rooting for you is number one. So you wanna make sure that you are as compelling as possible in the personal statement. A stellar, exceptional personal statement can get an on-the-cusp student in and move the needle for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. I've worked with hundreds of students on their personal statements, and I know how to help you perfect your story. Let's get started. Step one, there are three easy kind of creative elements that you can bring into your essay today to really punch up the drama. So the first one is to consider macro and micro elements. Your experiences never happen in a vacuum. If you are gonna tell a story about a patient encounter, let's say, you wanna kind of, as you're telling that story, very quickly zoom out and give us the ambient noises or who's there, any other reactions. It really kind of adds dimension and depth to the moment, the scene. Another way of doing this is to bring in dialogue. Very brief. Um, and use very sparingly, but you can bring in dialogue to really kind of get into the middle of things right away. It also adds a different voice to the essay very quickly, which is nice. Um, I would caution against using kind of these very familiar quotes like be the change you want to see in the world. It may be something that is so profound and powerful to you and a, a driving force, but if it's someone else's words in that way, you never know how the reader kind of perceives that quote. And so you wanna make sure that if it's dialogue, it's really kind of leading into a story and it's your kind of sentiment and observational knowledge that an experience that is driving the, the purpose and the reason behind it. And then the third one is alliteration. So if you can bring in any kind of cluster of consonants that can kind of give a sing-song feeling to your um, essay, that'd be great. So like counting compressions, battled breaths, right? So these kind of cluster of consonants are nice and they give you that kind of sing-song feel. You can use a combination of these and you can use them sparingly. This is more kind of like once you have the foundation of the essay and you know exactly what you want to say, then you kind of can bring in these things to punch up the drama of how you're saying it. Do you have an experience that you want to tell in your personal statement, but you're not sure how to do it? Comment below. I'd love to give you my two cents. Step two, bring in critical thinking as long as it is personal observations. So as long as they are anchored in something that you experience yourself, you can make a comment about healthcare, global healthcare, diversity, equity, inclusion, literacy, education, kind of as long as it is something that is not judgmental and it is kind of anchored in an experience that you you experience firsthand, right? That you witness yourself. You want to basically, if you have any of these kind of commentaries, you want to make sure that you test it out with kind of three barometer questions, right? Is it polemical or divisive in any way? If it is, then no bueno, right? So you want to make sure that you are not offensive, that you're always coming across from a space of understanding so that from your reader, you elicit curiosity that they want to know more about you and about your thoughts and your experiences and not a skeptical kind of attitude or that you offend them. So you want to make sure that it's not polemical and divisive in that sense. You also want to make sure that it's personal, right? So that it is very, very unique to who you are and the experience that you just narrated or that you've been telling in your personal statement. And that is key. So you can say something like, although I was honored to participate in our medical mission trip that brought much needed primary care to thousands, as we picked up our tents, I felt a tinge of failure because perhaps our efforts were just too small, even insignificant. Then you can continue by following up with kind of the practice of medicine is an impossible task, but to fail better is the kind of antidote or you know, the prescription. You wanna make sure that you are um, anchoring any commentary, any critical reflection in your specific experience. You wanna make sure that you're balancing both creative and critical elements in your personal statement. So the ad comms can see kind of those soft skills, right? That you're adaptable, empathetic, that you showcase growth, that you are um, willing and eager to learn more and improve in your craft, in your profession. And so you also wanna show perhaps that you know how your actions affect others. I think this is one of the most underutilized kind of modes of, of inquiry. And if you are intentional in 
the stories you're telling, not only the stories you're telling, but also how you reflect on them and your part in them, that's key to really showing how your actions affect others. If you want more expert feedback, definitely book a one-on-one -on -one strategy call with me. The link is in the description below. If you like this video, you found it helpful, give us a like, subscribe, and please share with your pre-med friends. I really appreciate it. It helps a ton. Thank you. I'll see you soon.